Okay, folks, you see it's about 5.05 .05 a.m. on Labor Day, uh, the 4th of September. And half tank, go gas. Wait. All right, so I'm going to show you all what you have to do. Okay, people in San Antonio? All right, I ain't got nothing to do. I ain't got no work today. I ain't got nothing to do other than go to Spirit of Halloween. All right, so let's go get some gas. We're going to go to the same gas station I sat and did the video at. So no trickery here on this this footage. This is real as it gets. I got nowhere to go today other than Spirit of Halloween. Still recording, huh? Alright. So look at that. We got 259. That thing's gone up in price. We're gonna see if there's some price gouging. Hold on, let's get this bad boy started here. Okay. So on August 28th, just before Harvey was due to make landfall, I came and got gas out of Valero uh, by my house. And it was $1.99 per gallon. Now it's $2.59. And I had in between three quarters of a tank and a half a tank, or a half a tank and three quarters of a tank. I have a 15 gallon tank, okay? This ended up showing 13 gallons and $25, okay? I think they was price gouging. My wife, I told her to fill up too. She has a 10, 10 gallon tank and she spent $20 and, and, and she was at a half tank. Folks, the best, best advice I can give you, use a half a tank and consider that empty. You always have a half a tank of gas with you if you consider half tank being empty. But here we are, we're filling up. I'm at a half tank. So gallons, I should be right about right about now. I'll give them nine gallons. Okay, so anything past that is price gouging to me, I think. Mm-hmm. All right, so there we are, 30 bucks, 11 gallons, and I had a half a tank. All right, so this is Brown Spooky Letters learning from this, folks. All right. You see now some traffic coming. It's getting a little bit busy. But there ain't no damn ass lines. You see that? I was in, I was out. How you like that shit? Alright. When I first got here, there's a couple of cars. <laughs> People are, some people are smart. Smart people get up at five o'clock in the morning. Come and get gas. You dumb fuckers wanna sit in the hot ass sun all motherfucking day? Bitch, you get frustrated. Y'all stupid. Okay, you see how easy that was, San Antonio? Get your fat fucking asses the fuck up out of bed and come and get fucking gas early in the morning. Go home, take a nap. That's it, go home, take a nap but now. That's all you gotta do, okay? And you didn't hot, be hot. You ain't running on fucking fumes and line, hoping that you get across the, the border, so to speak, so you're able to get the gas. Cause that would suck. I think it'd be funny as fuck. But if you was like that, get waited all all day in line, then all of a sudden you got up to the fucking gas pump and you was on fumes and they ran out of gas. That shit would be funny. I wouldn't feel sorry for you. All right, so. That's how to get gas on a gas crisis 101. Get up early. I could have got up at 3 o'clock. Been at the gas station at, at 4, 3.30. No lines. Got in there, got out. All right, folks. This is Brian from Spooky Letters. Peace out. All right, San Antonio. You see that? It took me less than 20 minutes. And most of that was probably drive time and talk time. <laughs> Other than that, I ain't sitting my motherfucking ass in a hot-ass sun 
waiting in line. I got up for no fucking reason today on Labor Day, September 4th, to go get gas. Okay, simple as that. And now I'm home, I could go back to bed if I want to, or I may go do a taco run and surprise the family in the morning. I don't know. But you see, I got a full tank of gas. But, let me turn this down so I don't get no copyright. Um, little FYI, you can see I had a half a tank, okay, cost 30 bucks and I put 11 gallons in. They've been talking about they were price gouging, and I think they were. Because like I said, in preparation before Harvey even decided to make landfall, I had told my wife, when you come home from work today, fill up your gas before anything had happened. Just preparation. 10 Cloverfield Lane, folks. 10 Cloverfield Lane or all these zombie apocalypse. That's the preparedness tips. <laughs> um, but the other day when I got that gas and I, my wife, same thing. Like I said, I mentioned as we, on the GoPro, um, the gas was $1.99 on August 28th when I purchased gas last um, was $1.99 I was sitting right in between half a tank and three quarters of a tank okay that's not much gas to put in there I was charged 13 gallons and $25 at $1.99 so right around there I can't remember the exact dollar figure they were price gouging straight up price gouging and preparation to Harvey so Valero Cut your shit out, you fucking. I know y'all's pockets are deeper than fucking shit, but you know us folks, we 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 good folks. So don't fuck the good folks, okay? Fuck the people that want to sit in fucking line, okay? Not me. Um, today it's it was at a half tank because I did a lot of I did a, a spirit Halloween roundup yesterday, um, and I was at a half tank, just very a, a, a pubic hair under half a tank. So at 259, 11 gallons, that seemed appropriate. When I got gas on August 28th, that was some bullshit. That was some fucking price gouging. That was some bullshit straight to the max. All right. So anyways, it is what it is at that point in time. But uh, I caught y'all. Y'all were busted, straight up busted. I should have filmed that shit, but I didn't. But I could tell you exactly what I, because I'm about the most honest by the book person in the world. I follow the rules, man. I ain't worried about this, this, that, and the other, and all this bullshit y'all so sensitive with. You know, that that's life. That's, that's reality. It don't bother me. It's not in my daily routine, so don't. I, I'm. I, it's no concern. So I don't go sit there protesting and shit during the national fucking anthem and shit. You know that's disrespectful. All right, your parents should raise you a lot better on that. But that's the that's a whole nother ball game. So you can see I was I'm at home sitting in my garage, chilling like a villain. All right, so this is Brian for Spooky Laters. Hopefully you guys in San Antonio learned a lesson. Get your fucking asses up, man, and get gas, and then go on with your day. Once you get back home or stay awake, I don't know what the fuck y'all gonna do. Cut your grass. Because you got gas. Alright, so this is Brian from Spooky Layers. Peace out.